Hello and welcome back to Sketch and Possess. Today we're going to look at a couple of tricks with push-pull. Uh, so let's dive right in. Let's start with a basic geometry. Uh, let's make this a group. Okay, we're going to go to push-pull mode, which is uh, the uh, either the P button on the keyboard or you can hit the uh, push-pull icon here. And we need to get back into our geometry. And with push-pull, you basically extrude... Um, you can extrude, extrude ob objects. And so we started with just a two-dimensional surface. Uh, clicking on to, in push-pull mode, clicking on to one of the surfaces allows us to extrude that surface. And you can uh, do this by a defined amount. So for example, I could come in and say I want to do a two-foot extrusion. Um, and you can pull from any surface that you want to. So we could come in here. We could extrude this side out, let's say maybe 12 inches. So that's good, but there are a couple of tricks. Um, first is that when you extrude, so let's come back and do a extrusion to a certain amount. We'll do 12 inches. Um, after that, if you come in and simply double click, it will extrude the same amount as the last time. So in this case, 12 inches. And so if we do it again, it will continue to extrude. The other thing that you can do is uh, on a Mac, it's the option key and on a PC, I believe the control key. Um, but if you come in and let's go into push pull mode and let's hit the option key, you'll see a little plus sign pops up. And now when we extrude, it actually leaves the original line. And so you can see uh, where the surface was prior to the new extrusion. And now you can actually, if you double click, you can create new, um, basically new sections. Now, where would this be useful? Though there are a couple of places potentially, but we'll look at one. Uh, let's come back, create a an extrusion, or sorry, a geometry. Let's pull it up 12. Uh, let's go in to the option key on the Mac here and let's double click and let's create a few of these. Then what we could do is come around here and go back into push pull mode. We can double click and you can create actually steps. Now, this may not be the greatest way to create steps, but you could create a set of steps this way, and if you wanted, you can come in and actually remove. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's undo that action. Go into erase mode, and you can come in and clean this up. So it's a way to, to do uh, sort of regular uh, repetitive um, extrusions uh, by simply double clicking into the uh, into the object uh, into the surface that you want to extrude uh, so that's it hopefully you enjoyed found it useful